Imagine this. A six-month-old infant presents to the clinic with failure to thrive, poor weight gain, and minimal appetite. As a future physician uh, preparing for USMLE Step 1, you suspect hypothalamic dysfunction. Could the lateral nucleus be the culprit? Let's dive into the high-yield hypothalamic nuclei you need to know for Step 1. We will cover the lateral, ventromedial, and anterior nuclei in this quick three minutes review. Let's get started. First up, the lateral nucleus, often called the hunger center. This is a must know for step one because it regulates appetite. The lateral nucleus is stimulated by ghrelin. Uh, think of ghrelin as the I am hungry hormone that revs up your appetite. On the flip side, it's inhibited by leptin, the satiety uh, hormone that stays, um, I'm full, stop eating. Uh, what happens if the lateral nucleus is damaged? If it's injured, you will see a lean phenotype because hunger is suppressed. And if it's completely destroyed, say due to lesion or developmental issue, uh, you get anorexia and failure to thrive, especially in infants. Like in our opening case, for step one, the key point is lateral nucleus destruction leads to the starvation-like state. To remember this, use the mnemonic lateral equals lean if injured. This is a classic association you might see in the vignet about an infant with poor growth. Now let's move on to the next nucleus. Now let's talk about the ventromedial nucleus uh, known as the satiety center. This nucleus helps you feel full and it's activated by leptin which promotes satiety. So when leptin levels are high, the ventromedial nucleus says, hey, stop eating, you're done. But what happens if it's injured? If the ventromedial nucleus is damaged, you lose the satiety signal, leading to uncontrolled eating and obesity. Think very massive if it's destroyed. For example, by a craniopharyngioma, a classic step one association, you get hyperphagia or excessive eating. Here's the USMLE geek point. Craniopharyngioma is a high yield cause of ventromedial nucleus damage, leading to obesity. You might see this in a vignette about a child with weight gain and supracellar mass. The mnemonic here is ventromedial equals very massive if injured. Keep that in mind for your exam. And now finally, the anterior nucleus, which is all about cooling and parasympathetic activity. Uh, this nucleus regulates cooling mechanism like sweating to lower body temperature. Uh, it also tied to the parasympathetic functions, uh, balancing the autonomic nervous system. For step one, you don't need to know a ton of clinical details here, but you should know its role in thermoregulation. A high yield association is A slash C, which is anterior equals to cooling. You might see a question about hypothalamic control of temperature. 